Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan Becker with another one bringing to you the Amazon Fire TV app. You can use this on your iPhone or your Android device. What makes this app so convenient is that you don't have to keep track of your Amazon Fire Stick remotes all the time. All you need is your mobile phone and you can control multiple devices once again. And then the coolest thing about this app is that you can definitely drop down they have an app list here. You can select any app from there, like Pluto TV or any other app that you have on your device and immediately launch it. That way you can easily open these apps and stream your content. All right, and once again, the most useful feature is the Your Apps and Games section where you can just quickly launch it and then launch any application of your choice. So if I click back, you can also go down directly to your settings and then it'll bring you directly into your settings if for any reason you wanted to check anything in here and it's just really convenient when you have a direct button that'll just launch a particular section on the Amazon Fire Stick that you're looking for as for the second most useful feature it is definitely the keypad feature where you can simply type in here you don't have to select each letter you can just simply type and this keypad actually works, this keyboard feature, it actually works on any section of the Amazon Fire Stick. So whether that be anywhere on the Amazon Fire Stick itself or anywhere inside of a third party app such as like Cinema or BTV, Koto, Pluto, any app that you have that has a search feature, it's going to work in. So we're in Cinema right now and if I go to the right and click on the magnifying glass, and let's say I type in a movie, let's call it uh, Aquaman, if I type in Aquaman, and then go down and hit search. All right. All right, so you got Aquaman right there. And that's just how easy it is and convenient it is to use the keypad feature in this app. And also, if I go back, you can see a list of all the Amazon Fire Stick devices that you have in your household. These are the two that I have turned on in my house, but I have like three or four or five and they'll all list right here and you can select which one you want to control at any given time. I also do want to let you know that you also can use the Alexa mic from this app as well. So the center button, the center icon in between the settings and the apps, you'll see the, the microphone symbol and you can use that as well to speak in any type of movie or any type of app and it'll launch. So the one feature I have noticed that is missing since the Amazon 4K Fire Stick has come out, if you notice that remote actually has volume keys on it and it also has a mute button and this app does not have that. That's the only feature I see that is lacking but if for any reason they are interested in that or adding it to this application I'd probably say it'd be done in the next update. But overall I really like this app, it's really smooth, it's definitely convenient the most convenient app that you'll ever use probably on your Amazon Fire Stick and as far as keeping up with the remote I don't need to keep up with the remote anymore because I can control every single Fire Stick that I have from my mobile phone which I always know where it, where it is at all times so that's the most hands down best feature of this all and it's definitely worth a download if you're interested so let's go and jump into the install process and we'll go and get right into it so the first thing you want to do is either grab your iPhone or your Android. This app will work on both type of mobile phones. And then the next thing you want to do is navigate to your Play Store or the App Store. Either one will work. And then in the top search section, you want to use the search and you want to type in Amazon Fire TV. And once again, that's Amazon Fire TV. And as you type it in, you should see the app start to load up. And then when you do see it, you just want to click on it to launch it. And then as you launch, just confirm that you are downloading Amazon Fire TV. And then you want to click on the install and give it a moment to install. It should install fairly quickly, maybe about 20, 30 seconds or so. And then once it's installed, you'll see uninstall or open and then you can open it up 
once you have installed it. All right, this is what you'll see. You'll see it load and search for any devices that you have. And then I have two online right now. And then the next thing you'll do is select the one device that you want to control. And then I'll show you what happens. When you click on the device that you want to control, you're automatically prompted on your TV screen a code. So that 7567, you want to enter that on your mobile phone. But remember, that code is going to be different for you because I'm on a different TV and a phone than you. So make sure you use your code and then you'll automatically be shown the tutorial on the mobile app. And then you can immediately start using it and start to swipe and go and test it out. And then use the app feature, the settings feature. Go ahead and set up any other multiple devices that you have. And then uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got this app installed. I hope you enjoy using it. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you once again for watching. And you have a great day. Peace.